Have you ever wanted to explore space? Ever wondered what a journey to another planet would be like? Well, today, let's take a glimpse at the living conditions of a Martian colonizer aboard the starship as it undertakes a months-long journey to the Red Planet. Think you have what it takes to leave the comfort of your home and embark on a journey into the unknown? Let's find out. In 2001, Elon Musk revealed his ambitious vision for colonizing Mars by developing a high-capacity rocket capable of launching large payloads into orbit. After a decade of continuous development, Starship recently reached a significant milestone by conducting its inaugural orbital flight test on April 20th, 2023. This marked a pivotal moment in the journey of Starship, demonstrating its progress towards becoming a fully operational spacecraft. However, achieving operational status is not the only requirement for Martian colonization. Starship must also have a meticulously planned and designed interior space to accommodate extended stays in space, and this is an aspect that SpaceX has been actively working on. While specific details of the interior design are not yet fully disclosed, SpaceX plans to create a welcoming and ergonomic environment for the crew. By incorporating elements inspired by iconic spacecraft designs, SpaceX aims to provide a harmonious blend of comfort and functionality within the Starship, enabling astronauts to carry out their duties and tasks with ease while being able to relax and recharge during their journeys in space. So what will the Starship's interior look like? Can the company make use of the limited space wisely? The interior of the Starship will likely be divided into various sections, each serving a specific purpose. The lower portion of the spacecraft is dedicated to rocket components and houses the powerful Raptor engines, with at least six engines expected to be included. Above the rocket components, there is a common dome section that marks the transition into the cargo and crew areas. This top section, estimated to be around a third of the ship's length, is likely to be divided into several levels to make the most efficient use of space. On the first floor of this top section, the cargo bay will play a crucial role in storing essential resources needed for the crew's survival upon reaching Mars. This could include items such as rovers, robots, and life support systems. These resources will be vital for conducting experiments, exploration, and supporting human activities on the Martian surface. Moving up to the second level, the Starship might include food storage and essential supplies for the crew. In the challenging environment of space travel and colonization of Mars, it will be essential to have a steady supply of food and necessary provisions for the crew's well-being. Additionally, this level could feature a hydroponic garden for growing fresh vegetables like leafy greens. Hydroponic systems, which allow plants to grow without soil, are ideal for space missions, as they can provide a renewable and sustainable source of fresh food for the crew. Physical fitness is of paramount importance during long-duration space travel, especially in the context of missions to Mars or other celestial destinations. SpaceX's Starship is expected to address this need by providing facilities to support the crew members' physical well-being. Microgravity can have detrimental effects on the human body, including muscle and bone loss due to reduced weight-bearing activities. Regular exercise during the journey will be essential for combating these negative effects and ensuring the crew's overall fitness and health. Taking this into consideration, the third level of the Starship will likely feature a gym area for the astronauts. This gym area will likely be equipped with cardiovascular exercise equipment, such as stationary bicycles and a treadmill. These exercise facilities will serve the crucial purpose of enabling crew members to exercise regularly, helping them maintain their cardiovascular health even in the microgravity environment of space. Another important consideration must be made for personal hygiene, which poses unique challenges due to the scarcity of water and the absence of gravity. On the Starship, where conventional methods of cleanliness like showers and running water may not be viable, crew members are likely to rely on alternative hygiene practices. One common practice used by astronauts aboard the International Space Station, ISS, is to use wet towels or moist towelettes for cleaning their bodies. These prepackaged towels are moistened with a small amount of water and are specifically designed for hygiene purposes in microgravity environments. Crew members can use them to wipe themselves down and maintain cleanliness. For hair care, astronauts often use dry shampoo, which doesn't require water for application. Dry shampoo is a powdered or aerosol spray product that helps absorb oils and refresh the hair without the need for traditional washing. It can be applied to the hair and then brushed or combed through to remove dirt and oils, providing a semblance of cleanliness even without access to running water. 
Additionally, the absence of gravity makes traditional flushing toilets impractical. The development of a suitable zero-gravity toilet is crucial. SpaceX has recognized this need and has been working on developing a zero-gravity toilet for their Dragon capsule, and a similar design is expected to be implemented on the Starship. While the specific details of the toilet design for the Starship are not publicly known, the zero-gravity toilet will address challenges such as waste containment, odor control, and hygiene maintenance without the assistance of gravity or water-based flushing systems. Space toilets typically use airflow, suction, and specially designed collection systems to manage waste. They often include features like specialized seats, sealing mechanisms, and sanitization processes to ensure the proper containment and disposal of waste. The system must also consider the crew's comfort and ease of use, given the extended duration of space missions. Crew quarters will likely take up most of the fourth level of the Starship. While they may not be luxurious, considering the spaciousness of the Starship, each crew member is likely to have a reasonably sized compartment that provides privacy and basic amenities. Moving up to the fifth level, there is an opportunity for a common area where crew members can gather, relax, and enjoy the weightless environment of space. This space could serve as a social hub, allowing crew members to interact, share meals, and engage in recreational activities. It may also include a larger viewing window, offering breathtaking views of the cosmos. Lastly, on the top floor, which may be smaller due to the narrow nose of the starship, the command deck would be located. This area would serve as the control center of the spacecraft, housing essential instruments, displays, and controls for piloting and navigation. It would be the central command point for overseeing the spacecraft's operations and conducting mission activities. But how does SpaceX plan to power this behemoth of a rocket, especially with humans on board? Solar energy is a prime consideration due to its renewable nature and proven success in powering the International Space Station, ISS, and other spacecraft. However, deploying solar arrays on the Starship does pose some challenges. One of the main challenges is the size of solar panels required to generate sufficient power for the spacecraft's needs. The Starship is a massive vehicle, and the energy demand for its propulsion, systems, and crew requirements is substantial. This may exceed the practical limits of deploying large solar panels directly on the vehicle during launch. Moreover, as the Starship travels farther from the sun, the effectiveness of solar panels diminishes due to the reduced intensity of sunlight. This means that to maintain the required power output, even larger solar arrays would be necessary which could be impractical to fit on the spacecraft. One potential solution is to use a modular solar panel system that can be constructed in space and attached to the Starship during refueling in orbit. This approach would enable the deployment of large solar arrays that can provide a continuous and reliable power source throughout the spacecraft's journey. Thanks to Elon Musk's electric vehicle company Tesla, the use of batteries as a primary power source for the Starship can also be considered. Batteries can store electrical energy generated from various sources, such as solar panels or other power systems, and provide it when needed. They have proven to be reliable and efficient in electric vehicles and renewable energy systems. Integrating advanced battery technology into the Starship could offer a viable and flexible power storage solution. On the other hand, hydrogen fuel cells offer an alternative approach to power generation. These fuel cells convert hydrogen gas into electricity, with water as a byproduct. Hydrogen is a lightweight element, making it an attractive option for energy production in space, where minimizing weight is critical for efficient operations. Hydrogen fuel cells have already been successfully employed to power cars, buses, and other vehicles, demonstrating their potential for scaling up to meet the energy demands of larger systems like the Starship. By utilizing hydrogen fuel cells, the spacecraft could potentially benefit from a reliable and efficient power source while reducing overall weight compared to other energy storage options. Both batteries and hydrogen fuel cells present exciting possibilities for powering the Starship. Ultimately, the choice of energy sources will depend on a range of factors, including power requirements, weight considerations, and the specific needs of the mission. As SpaceX continues to develop and refine the Starship, it will likely explore a combination of energy sources to ensure reliable and sustainable power for its ambitious space missions. The Starship's versatility and massive scale make it a blank canvas waiting to be arranged in seemingly endless configurations. The craft is a symbol of cutting-edge human innovation, 
and stands on the precipice of greatness, but first it needs to get off the ground and achieve orbit in its upcoming second test flight. Until then, all we can do is speculate. What do you think? Will the Starship be able to strike a balance between functionality and comfort for its human occupants? Be sure to let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more.